If you want to get really strong and flexible, then it's very important that you train strength and flexibility in the same workout. Well, in this workout, this is a follow along routine for upper body pushing and pulling, doing a shoulder press and a pull up pattern, but also lower body flexibility for the front splits. Make sure you stick around, join in with us in real time, and let's get strong and flexible together. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. The biggest mistake that most people make in the development of flexibility is that they treat flexibility as something that they'll do after their workout. Whoever does it, nobody. And in our UMS, we get strength, flexibility, and fitness done in less than an hour. And this is a little taster of that. This is our phase one Monday bent arm strength and front splits workout, where we're just gonna do a few rounds together, three rounds, so you can join in in real time and see how we fit strength and flexibility all into the same workout. So grab yourself some dumbbells, get a pull up bar, and let's get into this upper body strength and lower body flexibility workout together. Phase one, we're gonna do eight to 10 reps. So here we go, up, 1,001, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 6, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 8, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. If you want to do one or two more reps, go for it. Okay. Nice, and that took me about 40 seconds to do. So now we go over, grab our dumbbells for the loaded hamstring stretch, and I'm just going to push my chest forward Make sure that I come from the hips. We're going to go for 30 seconds starting now. Okay. Just keeping those knees straight, letting the weight pull me down. Beautiful loaded stretch here. Should have set myself up here so I can see the clock a bit better. We've got 10 seconds left. You can see that I'm really concentrating on keeping my back straight. I'm not rounding from the back when I do these, okay? All right, so I'll just take a little break. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go for the shoulder press. Plenty of time. So it's been one minute 40. I keep looking at the clock here. It's been a minute 40. I, I've got two and a half minutes to get those two exercises done that I just did. As long as I'm getting two exercises done in two and a half minutes, I'm fine, so I got, it's, uh, we've got three minutes and five seconds left. Plenty of time. Set my shoulders back and down, neutral grip, and here we go. One, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I think that's four, I lost count. It's five, six, seven, Eight. Good. I'm not gonna be pushing myself very hard in these workouts because I film multiple workouts back to front. So I've gotta be able to get through this and make sure that I deliver good content for you. But at this stage in the UMS, you should not be focusing on how much weight you're lifting. The focus should be all about the quality of the technique. The quality of the technique is what matters above all. Don't worry about how much weight you're lifting. Focus on the technique and the teaching cues. And for the shoulder press, the cues that we wanna look at are to keep the shoulders back and down, elbows under the wrist, and be intentional with the end ranges. Okay, here we go, front splits. So I'm just gonna set up, hips forward. Okay, it's just the first set, so we don't have to be trying to break any records, but what I'm looking for is to keep those knees straight, and I'm trying to not use these sticks. They're here for me, okay? But I'm not like leaning on them. They're just here to help me balance a little bit. So I'm really doing very little with the sticks. I forgot to time exactly how long I did it for, but I think that's about 30 seconds. Okay. And to the next side, doing roughly 30 seconds. Good. 
Now we've got a minute 10 left, and this is what I want. What I like to do when I do Monday's workout is I like to have a little bit of time left before I do my pull-ups. See, what we're doing here, by doing these front splits, I'm allowing the muscles that are used for the pull-up and the shoulder press to rest. My arms, everything in my upper body was resting while I was doing those front splits. Same with the loaded hamstring stretch. So that's a really, really good use of time. It's a great way to be able to stretch and strengthen my body all in the same five minutes. But because the pull-up is such a demanding movement, because it's a calisthenics movement, um, I can't just lift less weight on the pull-up, like a pull-up is a pull-up. I like to have a little bit of rest where I'm doing absolutely nothing before my pull-up. So that's why I like to have the pull-up first. You don't have to. It's just the way I like to do it. Uh, and if you're training with four people doing this, not everybody can do the pull-up first. It's just not how it works. But if you can do your workout in a way where you have a little bit of a break before the pull-up, I like to do that. So we've got five seconds. You're going to hear the buzzer in a sec. Hi, in case we haven't met, my name is Rad Burmeister. I'm one of the co-founders of Unity Gym and creators of the UMS, the Unify Movement System, where we make driven people strong, flexible, and fit. If you want to know how we do that, grab one of our free downloads. We've got a whole bunch of amazing blueprints that you can get if you click the link in the description. And if you want to get any of our programs for strength, flexibility, injury rehab, or calisthenic skills, you can click the link to see our library. And hey, if you're a driven person and you want to learn how to train in the gym or or at home in workouts that take less than an hour that make you strong, flexible, and fit, you wanna get access to our full UMS coaching program. There's a link in the description of this video for a 30-day free trial. Hope to see you in there soon. Here we go. One, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Two, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Being really intentional with those end ranges. You can see my shoulders are right down as I come down. At the bottom, the last thing that happens is that my shoulders elevate. I'm pulling my shoulders down first. That's the first thing that happens. The shoulders depress, getting my chest right up to the bar, being really intentional with the end ranges, creating good quality reps. And when you do this on your own, it's really good to have a metronome, to have a metronome going on a phone that goes bip, bip, bip for every second. I didn't do that for the video because I thought it might be a little bit off-putting. I could have had a metronome app there going, but I thought it might be a little bit off-putting for people. And considering that, you know, the video is the video and you're always going to be watching that, I thought, no, I won't put a metronome on it. Okay, so 30 seconds. Just leaning forward. This is such a good stretch, this one. This has been a really, played a really big part in the development of my flexibility. When I started, I could not come close to where I am now. You can see I actually need to go on a box almost because the weight's almost touching the ground. When I'm fully warmed up, I do need to go on a box. Okay, so I take a break. You can see I'm even a little bit out of breath. Most people don't talk as much as I am <laughs> right now when they're working out. So talking and doing all this work definitely whew, gets the heart rate up it's good that's what it's all about all right shoulders back and down elbows under the wrists be intentional with the end range end range is arms above the head 1001 1002 1003 weights touching the shoulders that's the end ranges this is a really really important foundational movement because it uncovers imbalances from left to right side, and it prepares you for the barbell shoulder pressing that's to come later in the program, okay? It also corrects the imbalances, so it'll reveal an imbalance and, and it will correct it. So, but, you know, in phase two, we're gonna go to the barbell, we do behind the back shoulder pressing, and then we start doing calisthenics movements in the later phases of the UMS where you do like handstand push-up variations and things like that. So everything in phase one, it's amazing, it's so effective, but it's all laying the foundation for the later phases to come. All right, let's get these front splits going. And what's so beautiful about these workouts is because you're on the clock, 
you just, you get so much done. You know, when we do this, when you've got me keeping time with you and you've, and you've got, and even when you get used to these workouts, if you don't need to watch the videos anymore, all you do is you set up a five minute timer on your phone for six rounds, so it's 30 minutes, you press start and you just constantly keep an eye on it and you just get so much done, it's so efficient. Five rounds of proper strength training and proper flexibility training, change sides, that was 30 seconds. Um, in 30 minutes, it's, it does, it, I mean, you're doing the minimum that the, the research says you need to do in order to get really strong and really flexible and the results speak for themselves. We've got thousands of people around the world that have used this exact program to get incredible results. And we've never found a more efficient way to train. If there's one out there, show me because I haven't seen it. It's, and uh, this, it just works so well. And if you're, a, um, if you're a coach, if you're a personal trainer, training people to integrate this into the way that you do your clients is so effective. You know, doing one hour sessions like this is just amazing. And if you're not, if you're somebody who's just joining in with us because you want to be strong, flexible, fit, want to learn calisthenics, want to do anything like that, this is just such a great way to get you there. We've got 30 seconds left before we start round three. We're really getting into it now, everyone. You can, up the, you can change the weight if you want. Remember the rep range, what that means is that if you do somewhere between eight to 10 reps, that's the rep range. If you get to 10 reps with really good technique and you think oh, that was too easy, then go up in weight. But if you struggle to get eight, if it's a real challenge for you, then go down in weight. You can change the weight from set to set. Of course, oh, here we go, we've got three seconds. You've got to keep yourself honest with these timers. You don't want to fall behind. The only thing that will really mess these workouts, workouts up is if you fall behind. And it gets challenging, you know? As the workout progresses, you start feeling like you want to take a little bit more break between each set. I wasn't being very strict with my tempo there. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. The tempo is really really important okay 1001 1002 1003 it's really important that you do a proper um three second eccentric phase when we do the strength testing that you do in progressions this is the foundations program three phases of foundations when you move into progressions you do strength testing um structural balance testing actually i should say every 12 weeks and the results of that create custom programs for you and it follows the same format that we're doing here but the workouts are customized based on where your imbalances are. And the three second tempo is very strict in those uh, testing weeks. You have to be able to do three seconds otherwise you fail the test. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoops, it's a loaded hamstring stretch. What I'm doing. See, I'm warming up. You can see I can quite easily get the weights on the ground now, which is great. This is a really good way to build up to press your handstands where you come up on your hands like that and lift off the ground into a handstand. This stretch will really get you there. All right. Woo, shoulder press, here we go. One, two, three. Two, one thousand one, two, three, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Woo! Good stuff. All right. It's good back on track with the time. You can see it's a, it's a challenging workout to do all of this in five minutes if you really stick to it. <clears throat> and the challenge that you have when you're training is to remain efficient. It's really easy to you know, get lost on your phone and you're scrolling and then you realize you've spent five minutes just sitting there doing nothing in your workout. It's a real waste of time and you don't want to take that kind of attitude into your training. Something like this is invaluable because you just press play 
ignore everything else and do it. Do the workout and in one hour, man, do this three to six days a week. Watch how much your body changes. The UMS is designed that you can do it as little or as many times as you want. You can get a great result with as little as two days a week. One upper body day, one lower body day. That'll still have a significant impact on your body. But for those of you that are higher achievers, you can do it five or six days a week. It's designed like that because the upper body strength training movements and the lower body flexibility movements, they won't be repeated again for 72 hours. So the next two workouts you're gonna do are gonna use totally different muscle groups so that the muscle groups that we're using in this workout get a, re get a rest, they get to relax. So that's a really, really valuable thing. It's, uh, it's designed in a way where you can do it five days a week, six days a week. You just do your one hour workout every day and it just becomes integrated into your life. The most important thing at your stage of training right now is consistency. Consistency and frequency. We have the health hierarchy of needs at Unity Gym, like, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, five stages. First, there's motivation. Second is daily habit of movement. Third is nutrition. Fourth is physique. And fifth is mastery, movement mastery. Almost everybody comes in at the physique or mastery stage. People start their journey trying to get a good physique or trying to master some movement progression. The first thing you have to do is get very clear on your motivation. Your motivation has to go from goals to a burning desire. That's what's gonna get you out of bed on the rainy days. The second step is a daily habit of movement. Got nothing to do with how hard you train with what you're working on, it's a daily habit of movement. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you know when our weekly videos are uploaded. Now, the best thing for you to do if you wanna stay connected with us and get free online coaching is to join our private Facebook group. It's called the UMS Movement Mastermind and we go live daily where we answer our members' questions. It's very interactive because you can post questions while we're live and we interact with you on the show you can also upload videos or pictures of yourself with any movements, any stretches, strength training movements, calisthenics, weightlifting, anything that you're struggling with, and we'll critique you, give you feedback, let you know how you can get better. It's a really valuable resource. It allows a lot of communication with us and also our senior tribe members. You'll get answers very, very quickly, and it's absolutely free. So jump on Facebook, search for UMS Movement Mastermind, and join now. Until next time, have a great day.